Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. So some of you may have seen my other videos on setting up my planner for 2023, um, creating my vision board for 2023, and now it is time to reset my handbag. This is one of my favorite steps and it's something that I love to do pretty much every week anyway, but seeing as we're heading into a new year, I currently don't have anything in any of my work bags because before I went on holidays, I cleaned them all out. I gave them a really good clean and polish and I stuffed them all with tissue pa paper just to help them keep their shape. And they have been sitting in my cupboard now for the past three weeks. So it was time to choose which bag I will be heading back to work with. And obviously I went with my Noe in the black epi leather. And I just wanted this video to be very casual. Put me on in the background, make yourself a nice drink or go and get your work bag. And if you're heading back to work or you've already started back at work, but you didn't probably reset your bag, then pause the video, go and get your bag now, bring it back and we'll do a reset together. Now, every time I film one of these videos, I always want to make sure that at least there's some different things in my bag. Um, that way it's not boring for you guys, because a lot of you are probably like, Shannon, we already know what's in your bag. You film these videos all the time, but some things have changed. So the first thing obviously is my new planner. Look how stunning she is. And this is just so my style. I've always loved croc leather, especially black. So I got this one from Cloth and Paper. If you haven't already watched my planning setup video, make sure you watch that. And inside here, I've got the harder I work, the luckier I get in front of my vision board that I created for 2023. So just a super inspiring planner, getting my life organized. The last few mornings I have, um, rather than laying in bed and sipping my coffee in bed, I've been taking my planner out to... Um, outside it into our new patio and I've been just sipping on my coffee and planning each day and oh, I am just loving doing that little ritual. Look how pretty these two look together. I'm going to slip that down the outside of the organizer because I do have the space and that with the organizer pretty much takes up the whole base of the bag with the exception to my iPad. I'm definitely going to start carrying this with me in my handbag. So I'm just going to slip that down the side as well. I did try the whole electronic calendar planner sort of style. I even downloaded an app to have basically like a planner, but all electronic on my iPad. Didn't work for me. I need a physical planner where I can write things out because that's when I feel like it's actually out of my head and onto paper. So if you feel like you're struggling with the whole planner calendar thing, maybe try and get yourself a physical planner and it, yeah, it's a game changer. So they're the two bulky things in there. Um, the next bulky thing I wanted to mention is my new water bottle and every single year it is one of my new year's resolutions to drink more water and it does work. Like I drink far more water now than I used do and I said to myself that I want to drink three liters a day and this is one liter and I've easily been doing three liters a day it really does depend on the water bottle you have as well this is one of the sippy ones how lazy am I like I will not drink water if I have to unscrew the lid this is the adult version of a sippy cup and I'm here for it. So basically gonna pop that in my bag. I do have like a drink bottle kind of holder in the organizer, but this bottle is a little bit too big for that. So I'm just going to sit it down the side. I'm basically going from bulkier things to smaller things because I do have a pouch that I'm gonna put all the smaller bits and pieces in. So I'll pop that in at the end. So I've got my St. Laurent sunglasses, my ride or die. These also my Ray-Bans are as well, but I sat on them and they are bent and I need to get myself a new pair because I've been missing them so much. But yeah, I absolutely love my Saint Laurent Betty sunglasses. If you've watched any of my videos, you've seen it a million times before, but they're comfortable um, and they're just like your go-to sunglasses. Like you cannot go wrong with these ones. Then I have some sugar-free chewing gum. I always have chewing gum in my bag. I might even have one now. This one is the bubble mint and it's sugar-free because apparently sugar-free gum is actually good for your teeth. Um, just after you eat, it pulls all the food out of your teeth. Sounds gross, but works for me. So I just keep that in my bag. Next, I have a clip. I love these big clips and with my clip I actually just clip it on the side because I think it looks cool. Um, next I have my Chanel hand cream. Now I'm kind of moving into all the little stuff so I may as well show you my new pouch. So you're probably looking at this pouch going that's not new you've had that for ages but I did end up selling my pochette 
because the zip was quite warped and I sold that at the end of last year so very recently and then I was back on eBay and I saw this one was going for a really good price so I ended up just buying it and I thought you know what I will use it for a bit and the zip is nice and straight I haven't polished it up yet so it's definitely um, just straight out of the eBay satchel postage bag. If ever I see bargains with design stuff, I just grab it because I know I might be able to make a little bit of money off it. So anyway, these are great for in your work bag um, and they just hold everything together. So I have my Chanel hand cream. Is it lame that I got it pretty much just for photos? That sounds bad, but Pinterest made me buy it. I got it and I just take heaps of photos with it but I actually use other hand creams most often so there's plenty in there I think I've used it twice I have this sanitizer I've had it for so long I don't even know if it has an expiry date but anyway it's just one of those nice hand sanitizers and not that I even really use it much but it's just one of those things like what's in my bag hand sanitizer so I just keep it in there and it does smell nice it smells like um, it's got like a lemon scent now I am starting the year off with just two lip balms in my bag, but we all know, give it a couple of weeks and there'll probably be like six different types in there because would it be a what's in my bag without literally a whole pouch full of lip products? But basically this one here is from my friend Lou. She sent it to me in a box swap. It's the brand Rituals, which we don't have here in Australia, I don't think, but it is like, it's your go-to. It's just like a nice, it's actually similar to like the Lano Lips kind of lip balm I'll put on now and it's just got a really nice scent I love it I'm going through it and then I have my Chanel one which if I'm honest I don't ever really use but it's Chanel so it's going in my bag I have my Dior perfume this is the roll-on one um, it has lasted me ages my friend bought me this for my birthday Oh, it smells so good um, and I love it it honestly lasts so long because it is in roll-on form and guys look at the consistency of a roll-on see it's kind of thicker so you really don't need as much and it yeah like I said it really does last a long time so if you're umming and ahhing about getting like you know those roll-on designer kind of perfumes that you see in Sephora and Mecca if you're umming and ahhing about it get it because they do last so long now the last thing to go in my pouch is a phone cord I really need to get one of those little phone cord kind of clip things that keeps it all um, rolled up so that is all in there very nice and there's just a few more things that don't go in the pouch but they go in my bag and they actually go in the organizer kind of pockets this is my reusable bag one dollar from the like dollar store so they're amazing I always have that on me the next thing is my beautiful chanel coin purse that i recently got so i did a bit of an unboxing of this i only recently got it absolutely love it it's vintage so beautiful literally my dream little wallet because it can fit coins and cash as well as cards but yeah i just changed from my ysl card holder to this and it's just great it fits so much and it's nice to have the option of this and a card holder oops but yeah I've got that that is going in there I feel so bougie with this guys it is I just cannot believe I own something Chanel now we also have my phone I know there's no case on there it's because I've been using a clear one and it's so yellow I didn't even want to show it on camera but I did just get a notification that I am getting delivery today and I think it's my new phone case I got a matching phone case and airpod case they're just like a black leather and they have um, my initials kind of imprinted onto it so when they arrive I'll be sure to show you guys but um, yeah I'm hoping to get a new case on that so basically just slip my phone in there and then last but not least we have my car keys um, on my wish list for this year is another Louis Vuitton key holder but in the monogram but yeah I don't know what it is I kind of got this one because it was a bargain at the time and I do love it I do love this print but I am really wanting the monogram I just feel like it's a little more feminine in a way so anyway uh, we'll see how I go it's just on my wish list if I see one I'll get it if I don't doesn't matter I have this that goes in there and I just thought to myself where are my airpods I think they're in my dog walking bag so anyway I also keep my airpods in there I do not leave the house without my airpods because when I'm at work I wear them pretty much all day I listen to podcasts my job is very much like data entry I don't really need to talk to people um, I can also listen to stuff whilst working so 
I absolutely love my AirPods. So that is everything in my bag. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking, wow, that's a lot. Is it heavy? Um, yeah, it's so heavy. <laughs> But like, I like to carry a lot in my bag and realistically, I'm not walking around with my handbag. Like, I pretty much go from my car, walk to the lift, head up to my floor and then my desk is right there. And then once I'm at my desk, I take my planner out and everything and I use it. And then if I need to pop down and grab myself some lunch or whatever, I don't take everything. I literally just take my phone and my wallet. So um, yeah, it is very heavy. But I've just got everything I need, so that doesn't bother me. So that's everything in the bag. I absolutely love the Noe bag for a work bag. But I am looking at the Gucci Diana Tote, the vintage one. And someone did comment on my wishlist video saying that they also really like it, but it was hard to find. Uh, and I've spoken about this on my Instagram. I'm always doing casual updates. So if you don't follow me over there and you love all this kind of content, make sure you do because I'm pretty much on there every day. Yeah, as I was saying, someone commented and said they really want the bag as well, but it's hard to find one in good condition. So it must have been that time of Gucci when they were making those um, Diana totes. I think it used to actually be called the shopper tote before Diana was actually seen wearing it. But They've used that material where it flakes and gets sticky and stuff. So it is really hard to find one without all the deterioration inside. So basically my plan is to keep looking for the next like month or so, like look hard for a one in really good quality. I want the black one um, in leather. And then if for some reason I just cannot find one for the price that I'm willing to pay, then I'm pretty sure I am going to go one that has the disintegrating interior and I'm going to try and fix it because I have done it before, but the design of this tote, I don't think it's going to be as easy to to do so if you're watching this video right now and you have fixed um, any kind of stickiness in a handbag please let me know in the comments below how you went and if you think it is worth doing because yeah like I said I've done it for a little Gucci satchel but it was a smaller bag I just simply pulled out the insert and gave it a scrub but with the tote I think the lining is kind of stuck down so I think it's going to be a little bit harder and obviously you don't want to get leather wet. So I don't really want to bite off more than I can chew because sometimes when you're doing that you're like oh it was just worth the extra couple of hundred dollars just to get it in pristine condition. So anyway I'm keeping my eye out for that. If you're watching this and you have a black vintage Gucci Diana tote in good condition and you're willing to sell it let me know in the comments below or if you see one let me know over on Instagram um, because I am on the hunt. So I hope you guys like this handbag reset video and for anyone that is heading back to work on Monday or you're already back at work I'm sending you my love and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!